Greetings from Timberlake High School Library. Let's talk about the money coming from the legislators uh, that were appropriated during the last legislative session. Lakeland School District runs a supplemental levy of $9.52 million and a large portion of those dollars are we use to fill the gap between what we get from the state for salaries and what we actually pay in salaries. There is some confusion amongst community members about what are we doing about the new money that is coming from Governor Little specifically for salary enhancement. Uh, so what is happening is um, we are moving from enrollment funding where the state paid us uh, for all 4,800 of our kids enrolled in our schools. And they, when they take that 4,800, they run it through a formula and they tell us how many teachers they're paying for. Under enrollment funding, all of our teachers um, have been uh, funded. We are moving back to average daily attendance funding. Our current average daily attendance is 94% on any given day in the Lakeland schools. 94% of our kids are in school. Um, so that means they're going to pay us for 94% of the 4,800 kids who are enrolled. We still have to have these teachers over here because we do have 4,800 kids. They're only paying for 94% of them. That's a loss of over $2 million for the Lakeland School District. Now we are getting new money, um, but that money is specifically for salary enhancement. So let's say um, before the salary enhancement money, um, the state uh, gave us um, forty-five thousand dollars for a teacher who, on our salary schedule, has been in our district for over twenty years and is making fifty-five thousand. The our levy dollars make up that ten thousand dollar gap. The new salary enhancement dollars say that every teacher in our district must get a pay increase. They are not. I, we cannot use the sixty-three fifty-nine to fill in the gap of this ten thousand that we have. We actually have to add it to the fifty-five thousand. And so we are creating a little bit of a bigger gap, although the state's paying for the 6359, this $10,000 gap still exists. Um, it's very co confusing to people, and um, but that's the, that's the extent of the new money. And we actually um, have to report to the state how much of a wage increase each of our certified teachers get. Additionally, we are getting um, money for our classified staff uh, for our, uh, salary enhancement. The last thing I want to talk about is um, the safety grant. The, the state set aside some money for, as a grant for school safety. And when filling out the grant paperwork, um, you must re, uh, revisit your vulnerability assessment that was done by the Idaho Office of School Safety and Security. For Lakeland, um, the only thing that we have not taken care of on our vulnerability assessments is um, some fence lines that the um, person who inspected our schools felt were too short. We have four foot fences around our elementary schools and the um, uh, standard is six feet. Um, we could apply for the grant and and use those dollars to fix the safety of our schools by in, uh, improving our fences. However, we cannot use those dollars for our um, current personnel for safety. Um, the the legislators and our governor did do a really good job this year of trying to take better care of public education. Um, however, for us, the need for the supplemental levy still exists because there is uh, continues to be the gap between what is funded and what we pay for salaries for teachers and our classified staff. If you have any questions about any of the new money coming from the state, please feel free to give us a call at the district office 208-687-0431.